Rainy weather didn't stop the Pine River Bacchus Relay for Life from recently raising thousands of dollars for cancer research at their annual event. Every year, the 24-hour event celebrates survivors who won their fight against cancer. Our Logan Gay has more on the relay. According to the American Cancer Society, over 1 million people in the United States will be diagnosed with cancer this year. To help fight the terrible diagnosis, Relay for Life volunteers team up together to raise money. Some of these are, are family teams, some are teams of just people, co-workers, because they're walking for a co-worker. Um, it's just a nice time to get together and, and do something positive. Relay for Life is more than a nationwide fundraiser. It's a celebration. Family members and friends come together to celebrate the cancer survivors, remember the cancer victims, and encourage those who are currently fighting the disease. So I can help others that are struggling with their treatments and whatnot, because I know I've been there, and that's one of those things that, you know, I've been there, I've done that, I know what you're going through. And according to the Relay for Life website, the nationwide event has raised nearly $5 billion for cancer research. And although the weather was not ideal on Friday evening, the Pine River Relay for Life was not going to let that slow down their fundraising efforts. So usually our little group does a really good job, anywhere between twenty dollars and $25,000, which we only have seven teams and maybe 60 people who are walking. Normally at the end of Relay for Life events, luminary bags like this one and you see all across the gym are used in a special lighting ceremony to honor those we lost and those who survived cancer. This year, however, because of the weather, they opted to use glow sticks instead. Relay for Life is the perfect example of the power of teamwork. In Pine River, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. And Brainerd and Motley will both be hosting Relay for Life events on July 23rd. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.